Hello, this is Colm from Walters Plastic Consultancy. We offer a range of services to the plastic industry, plastic training, plastic process validation and troubleshooting, mold and plastic part design, marketing and a range of products for the molding industry. So today we're going to be talking about is getting a, an injection mold made in China right for your business? And we work with this company with mold in Shenzhen in Hong in China. It's just across the border from Hong Kong. And um, I'll just briefly talk about their setup and equipment that they have and that they can um, offer. Okay, just a very brief introduction to with mold here. Um, they are a mold maker, like I say, in Shenzhen, in China, and um, their equipment is quite extensive. They have uh, quite a lot of CNC machines, EDM machines, and grinders, laser weldings, and some top art, top of the um, state of the art um, equipment for measuring as well. So their office is um, fully staffed with English speaking staff members, sales and design as well. Their uh, factory floor, this is the CNC milling machines and um, machine centers. And here we are with uh, the EDM, some double headed EDM machines as well, quite large for large molds as well and small as well. This is the mold assembly area where they assemble and fit the molds, uh, surface grinding equipment for grinding out uh, the, the plates, uh, blue put press, so they have a large press there for doing large molds, small molds as well, and uh, ensure that it, the, the mold is fitting correctly. Some EDM or sorry some milling machines they have here. Here's the, the QC room for checking uh, dimensions of uh, each part so uh, it's quite well equipped and that's the information to contact with mold if you need to. Okay so is getting an injection mold made in China right for your business and if we have a look here at some of the advantages and disadvantages let's say well the main advantage of course would be a saving a financial saving of somewhere between 20 and 30 percent uh, is normally quoted and uh, yeah this is what we have found to be uh, about right some of the disadvantages then, there's quite a, a longer list. Um, let's say the cost of managing the project, um, the communication difficulties, the time difference, um, money transfer and security issues, design quality, mold making quality, testing and validating, also the logistic and delivery time. So the, the, the the list of uh, disadvantages is certainly longer than the uh, advantages. However, if you take a mold, um, an average mold, let's say that costs sixty thousand euros to get made here in your at the local toolmaker, um, so a, a saving of twenty to thirty percent would be a saving of twelve to eighteen thousand euros. Now, does that saving outweigh the extra managing project managing costs, the communication difficulties, the time difference, um, the potential design and mold making quality issues, fears at least, um, testing, validating remotely, and uh, the logistical difficulties that are involved. So is that saving worth it for your business? Okay, so let's deal with uh, the first issue of the cost of, man of managing the, 
the project and uh, so you will have to make sure that you you have all the inf information documented and fully discussed with your mold maker however with a local mold maker perhaps you could get away without documenting the the, the mold making um requirements uh, in such detail however with a chinese mold maker you would also always be recommended to to document that fully uh, a representative from wit mold would go through every design decision and document it so both you and uh, the mold maker wit have has the full details and of the mold build uh, this consultation process could be done by email where we would send you the necessary documents to fill out then follow up with a conference call once the design information has been fully submitted uh, a conference call between wit and your mold maker or your tool designer part designer uh, project engineers and with mold makers and tool designers so we will have a conference call with all the um, necessary uh, parties involved so all design decisions could be finalized and uh, discussed the mold build quotation would then be reviewed uh, once the design has been finalized so really there's not much extra cost involved perhaps a little bit more time um, with conference calls and documenting the the full mold design criteria but once that's done um, it's handed over to the mold maker with to um, communicate all design um, issues and project manage the, the build uh, communication difficulties um, this is a uh, often overlooked aspect but uh, in the mold building process there is quite a lot of communication involved to ensure the power quality and the mold quality is right there's a lot of communication back and forth to finalize the design then during the build during the testing and modification if necessary so the communication must be documented and all people kept in the loop at Whitmold English is the language that we do business so all the sales representatives communicate fully in English but not only the sales representatives also the design engineers so a dedicated contact representative will deal with you directly to keep you informed of the progress of the build and to ensure the project hits all the milestones so even though the communication of technical issues can be difficult uh, we have years of experience with mold building and project managing so the communication is not really going to be a huge issue the time difference can be an issue if you don't pay close attention to it working from Europe we are six to seven hours behind China so if you want to talk to any of the Chinese mold makers you have to call them early in the morning before 10 a.m. which would be their 4 p.m. however no point in asking some of the Chinese mold makers to do anything for you because most of the workers are out the door at 5 p.m. on the button However, not so with wit mold. Most of the, the staff work until 8 p.m. So what I do is before I finish work here in Europe, I would email my contact, tell her that I will phone her the next day at 4 p.m. and ask her to have an update or report on the progress of the tool build. So when she comes in the next morning, she's able to work on on uh, the information, on the update and the report. Uh, and in this way, I'm able to manage the project a lot easier. Uh, you must also watch out for national holidays um, on both 
your own side and the Chinese side so that it doesn't delay the project unexpectedly. Uh, we've a lot of experience in dealing with with uh, mold making and mold making projects so we understand the um, the holidays on um, the Chinese side and here also. So money transfer security issues. Of course this is a concern you would have sending money halfway across the world. However, there would be contracts signed, usually 30% payment before tool cutting, 30% on first testing of the tool, and a final 40% before shipping. In that way, you know what you are paying for, and you sign off on every payment when you are happy that the work has been done right. Payments are usually made via a letter of credit and between banks. So there is a legal record of payment being made. And it is in which interest to make the mold to the very best quality because they want repeat business, of course. So um, there is, of course, your concern of payment being made and the work being done. However, it's it's all done legally the, between the two banks and you have control on signing off on the work. When the work is done, we move on to the next stage. And of course, WIT wants to do the best job so that he can get more business and repeat business from you. Design quality and mold making quality. I think we've all heard Local tool makers tell us about some silly story they have got when they have got a mold made from China and this was wrong with it and that was wrong with it. And I'm sure there are many cases of things not going right with uh, uh, molds made in China. However, I just wonder is there a bit of self interest and scaremongering going on with local tool makers uh, to spread these stories? so as to scare people off from going to China and getting cheaper molds made. Anyhow, uh, most tool makers and plastic process engineers are not tool designers. And without knowing the design issues, it is difficult to understand why some design decisions have to be made in a certain way. However, I think people are now seeing through the BS and would prefer spend a little time making sure the mold is made right and saving up to 20 and 30 percent on making a mold in China. Testing and validating. The last thing you want is to receive a mold into your factory and for it not to work correctly. This is why WIT mold will test the mold extensively using your specific material. With this testing they can do some initial testing of the part to validate your mold. They can then send you the parts for inspecting and validating. This will usually take a few separate tests, T0 maybe to T4, and would normally take anything from one to two weeks to complete. Once fully happy with the mold, the mold would be packed in a wooden box and sent for shipping. So all the way with is in communication with you on the status of the testing. Logistics and delivery time. Shenzhen near Hong Kong is only 8 to 10 hours flying time from most European cities. So if you want to visit with Mall in Shenzhen, China, you are more than welcome we can arrange hotel reservations for you. Whitmall looks after the packaging, insurance and shipping of the mold from their factory in China to your factory. It usually takes somewhere between four to five weeks to ship the mold. In conclusion, so if you're going to try to save 20 to 30 percent on your mold bill by having the mold made in China, Make sure you document every aspect of the part design and the mold design 
and make sure you go through each point with your Chinese mole maker. Make sure you also document your communication with the mole maker. We've been working with the same tool maker for a long time now and built up a good relationship and understanding with them. They know our style and they know we document every design decision that's been made. If you would like us to discuss your next tooling requirements, we can take you step by step through the mold making process and communicate this effectively to our Chinese mold maker. Our Chinese mold maker's name is Wit Mold Limited and their website is www.witmold.com. That's W I T M O L D.com. We work with them on mold building projects, so please feel free to contact me on column.walsh at witmold.com. Thanks very much and I hope to hear from you soon. All the best.